Now here with me in the studio is the man behind the biggest homegrown electronic music and art festival in the region. Thank you for joining me, Dion Markov. Hi, how are you guys doing? Good morning. So firstly, morning. let's just get stuck into it. What is the concept behind the festival? Well, um, we started this event about seven years ago and the concept was to bring emerging artists uh, from around the world to Dubai who have never been here yet. Um, and it started as a music oriented event and then it, it grew into kind of a cultural development project uh, focusing on fashion, art, music, electronic music, dance, culture. So, yeah. That's right. It is a fully immersive audio and visual experience because yep. it's more than just the music. That's there's right. food trucks, there's a curated fashion and arts marketplace. So it's very different from just a music festival. Yeah, exactly. We we tried to kind of expand on on what we were doing from from the beginning. We started with just, you know, a dance floor and people having a good time and then evolved into a festival. I love it. And <coughs> so it's definitely worth arriving early to make the most of the experience. What time are the doors opening tomorrow? Uh, so we open the doors at 6 p.m. And from there we have really chilled, nice music. Um, we have a lot of different sunset activities. Um, obviously the food trucks and installations um, yeah so people get stuck in right early so. yeah so exciting get the energy flowing before the big night ahead right. now, what, what would you say is the inspiration behind the music festival what audience does it attract um, we've evolved over the years so I would say the inspiration has always been to to bring a new uh, artistic vision into this market uh, to bring something that the rest of the world has access to but Dubai hadn't had access to in the past um, so when we started seven years ago uh, we were all about introducing new talent um, we still are about introducing new talent but uh, more so about again music cultural development is just the, the main focus of the event is giving people new artistic experiences and letting them have something here in Dubai which they can get in the rest of the world. Incredible, so you're saying it's very much an opportunity, a platform for emerging artists to right. sort of debut themselves. And this is local and international? Um, yes, uh, primarily international. So it's, it's, more, it's more so focusing on really established artists on the global scale who have not been to Dubai yet. That was our focus. Um, and finding kind of new hidden talents um, and always, always taking it to the next level by bringing in things that are seen as risky or experimental, things that necessarily might not work in Dubai uh, based on the standard events that are happening around at the clubs. Um, and we just push the envelope and keep taking risks and chances but to introduce some of the best artists in the world. That's, that's our focus. And bringing, yes, as you say, something different here to what is already established. How yep. do you actually scout the talent? There's a lot out there. So <laughs> what's your criteria for hunting down these international artists to come to perform at Groove on the Grass? Well, there's a lot to go into it. Um, I've been doing it myself for the last seven years. Um, recently, uh, we've gotten help from an agent in Europe as we scale up to some much bigger concert acts. Um, but yeah, in terms of, it's always been my personal taste with the taste of my, my team. We're, we're a family at Groove on the Grass. So we grew this project together with, uh, with our team, um, with, my, with my partners on the project. Um, and yeah, it's always, we kind of have a, a sixth sense of what is acceptable for us and we, we make a group decision on, on certain things. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's been a, a personal taste kind of project for, for quite some time and then when it outgrew um, my personal taste and when we, you know, achieved everything we wanted to, we, we started looking at next chapters, you know. Um, so yeah, it's been growing and as it grows we have to also broaden our horizons on what's new um, and the way that we do that is obviously by traveling by constantly listening to music by being involved in the global movement um, mm. and just being present and aware um, and not looking at dubai in a way that says okay what's going to sell here we don't want to really think like that we want to think like what can we introduce to make a difference and what is what is going to blow people's minds and take their you know 
musical awareness, uh, their love for music, their love for festival culture. What's going to take that to the next level? Yes, I and love that's, that. That's our focus. Certainly opening up the diversity of what's available here rather than just the same generic thing over and over on repeat. You're Absolutely. bringing original content. <clears throat> yes. Love that. Living up to the signature hashtag of the brand, Creatives Unite. Tomorrow, it is actually the final Groove on the Grass for 2018. I can't believe we are wrapping up this year already. But tell us, what big bangers can festival goers expect to see? Well, tomorrow we have an amazing eclectic lineup across two stages. So we have uh, the return of David August. Um, he's been he's actually been on a hiatus for a little while. I think two years break, and he's developed a new album and an amazing new live show. So that's what we can expect as the headline act on the main stage. Uh, he'll also be supported by uh, three other artists, um, legend from France called Chloe. Um, incredible performer who will be closing the, the main stage and warming up will be uh, this this actually the main stage is curated by David August so the headliner has selected uh, the opening act so we have Gigi Masson live which is an amazing ambient artist to get people into the mood early uh, followed by uh, Paquita Gordon who is David's opening act so that's on the main stage um, on the second stage you can expect uh, really banging sound we have uh, Danny Days uh, Miami's own, uh, you know, he's one of the best selectors in the world, but he's the gem of Miami. He'll be closing uh, the second stage and uh, warming up for him will be Red Shape. I don't think it'll be a much of a warm up because his live show is also quite banging and obviously our local artist to support that all that talent. So incredible. It never <laughs> it's stops. Be, it's a party from yeah. the moment the gates open. Yes, absolutely. 6 p.m. be there. Absolutely. <laughs> Get into the groove. I mean, is that not the perfect combination? Good energies amongst amazing party people. That is a weekend recipe perfection. Absolutely. Love it. And as you mentioned before, Dan, it's not just a music festival. It's also got the art element to it. There will be interactive art installations, you said, also live acro hooping. Yes. So this just, to if people don't maybe feel so confident on the dance floor, this yeah. offers another opportunity for them to get up and get moving to the music. Absolutely. There's just so much going on. We have fashion and art marketplace with tons of different vendors. Um, also, you have tons of different activities. Our sponsors are uh, stepping up their game and putting on a lot of cool things to people to interact with. Um, yeah, it's just, and then obviously the the activities early in the night to kick off the event, which is like pooping, acro yoga. Um, everybody can get involved or just sit down and just enjoy and, and watch people be creative. It's the event unfolds in front of your eyes, so you I can was, come early and check out the whole thing. I was hoping you would bring the hoop with you. Give us a little <laughs> prelude. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not the best, but I, I watch. But you've said seven years in the making of Groove on the Move. Surely you've got the moves now. Yeah, I've got a few. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait and see. Oh, the suspense. <laughs> so it's not long until we count down to the new year. Can yes. you tease us with what's in store for Groove on the Grass and the Artist Network in 2019? Well, I knew you would ask something like this. Um, <laughs> I wasn't sure if I can say, but I think I can give a little snippet. Um, so the Artist Network, our company, which does a lot of different events, we, we actually have taken on a lot of new cultural development projects. So we're doing uh, a lot of smaller size events, which are more intimate and community based. We have a um, bi-weekly event happening um, at Barbary, which is Unfold, focusing on Micro House. Then we also have boat parties, uh, which are happening once a month at Jebel Ali Beach Club. And we've actually taken over the contract for Jebel Ali Beach Club to host a lot of different upcoming events. So you can see showcases like Life and Death um, from DJ Tennis and uh, obviously the Italian movement. Um, also, you can see things uh, coming in from Burning Man. We have District, which is one of the major sound camps there. We're doing a showcase um, at Jebel Ali Beach Club. And of course, um, Groove on the Grass. It's just, we're moving on up and stepping more into the concert realm. So we have our biggest show yet coming on February 8th. Uh, which is Underworld Live, and it is one of UK's most iconic bands uh, performed at the London Olympics, and these guys are just the next level for, for the market, for Groove on the Grass, and uh, yeah, that's all I can say for now. Exciting things to come. This list is never ending. <laughs> on your business card, do you have uh, underneath your name, 24-7 Party Animal? It sounds like a marathon It's very minimal. <laughs> it's just black. <laughs> 
Um, well, not to be missed, the final groove on the grass for 2018. Tomorrow at Emirates Golf Club from 6 p.m. into the wee hours. Prepare yourself for a massive night. So snatch a ticket now before you're too late at platinumlist.net. Thanks, Jan. We will see you there. Thanks, Gemma. Here's Sid. It's creeping. You are locked into 97.8 Dance FM.